The Great Leap is a play by Lauren Yee, um, very hot playwright right now. She's the second most produced playwright in America. Lauren is a really great playwright who kind of takes stories that are specifically and uniquely Asian American, but she makes them appeal to anybody and everyone can find something in the stories that they can relate to. Bottom of the fourth, bounce pass to Lummi, takes the ball, he inserts it in the hoop. She can take a very serious subject like the Great Leap Forward or the Cultural Revolution and she can make you laugh. Toss some balls, win some baskets. You know basketball as well as I do, what are you doing? Without giving too much away, it's about um, this Chinese American kid in 1989, his name's Manford. There's nothing out there for many, nobody Chinese is ever playing pro. He is uh, spunky, scrappy, persistent. He wants to join this college team because they're playing a game against China and he wants the opportunity um, to play in that um, exhibition game. The farther north you go, the taller they get. And Beijing University is very, very far north. Holy mother of his English was so bad. Saul is, uh, is the head coach of the University of San Francisco basketball team who's been invited to come to China for a rematch. Ik B9 Beijing or Eleanor Rigby? Saul's uh, an acquired taste. <laughs> what the f*** you doing out there? Every single word out of his mouth, I had to go home and look up. Dunk it in the basket. A torrid into the well. I'll protect the rock. I'll cover your f I think that this play is a really great opportunity for uh, regular theater goers to come and enjoy something new. The basketball element is everywhere in the play and I think a lot of people find that very exciting. Um, it's present in the structure and the pacing. You can find the courage to follow your heart no matter what station in life you're in, no matter how buried or entrenched you are in your ways of thinking and the way your ways of being. You can always shake that off. It's never too late, there's always a time to start again.